Okay, so I'm back and I made a couple decisions, I think. Um, I think I'm going to go with this on the front. One of these keys, I'm not sure which one, laying up here. Um, actually, I'm going to go this way and put the letter S in it for their last name initial, their last initial. Um, and I am going to seal this. I don't know if I should, if I shouldn't, but I think over time, I don't think it's going to wear that well. And now I'm just thinking, what should I seal it with? Hmm. Matte medium, clear gesso. Um, I think I'm going to use clear gesso, and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to give it a try. Um, come here, Mo. Come here, Bubba. Lay down with Mommy. Come on. Metro's bed. Tim, my dear boy. Okay, let's see. Um, give me a brush. I need the brush for them. For the gesso. That's too big. Oh, I had one already. What the hell did I do with it? Oh, it was this one. With the white gesso. Okay, well, let's see what happens. All right, this will either be good or a disaster, as most of my decisions are. So, Lord, good thing I have a dental plan. I can never open this thing. Uh, well, well, let's dive in, people. Here we go. Woo! Hello. A little too much on the gesso. All right. Lordy, way too much gesso. I think my... I have a bad... Uh, Eye for estimating stuff, I think. You know? Try to save some of this. A little excessive. times I'm going to do that. All right, well that looks like it's going to be okay. All right, get this a little bit more even out. And I'm going to hit that with a little bit of heat gun to get the tackiness off of it so I can keep working. I don't like the way you feel now. I like something more. Oh, you know what? I have some decoupage gloss. Is that what I want to do? Super gloss. Ooh. Super. Oh, that must... Oh, that's why it's new. <laughs> why is that coming off real easy? Just about everything I have is glued shut. I think I'm going to put a coat of that on. What I'm gonna do 
Gonna get a different brush though. Take another brush. I wonder if that's gonna be too glossy. Yeah. Is there such a thing? Yeah, that's like sandpaper on there with that clear gesso. I should have remembered that. I did that one other time on something. I use it on fabric, like when I do those jelly plating that uh, the denim and then make those pencil cases out of it. I use clear gesso on that, but that for some reason doesn't feel as scratchy as it does on a hard surface or even on paper for that matter. All right, let's see what happens here. Hopefully I don't ruin my crackle. Hang on to this again. Very awkward. <laughs> Oops. Yes, why don't you put your finger right in it? Hmm. Okay, I think I will. Get my fingerprint out. Uh, was that 18 times now? But at least the back was dry when I did it this time. <laughs> Hey. I hope that just looks a little milky because it's not dry. I hope, I hope. That'd be a heck of a note if I had to did something that hose me up right at the last minute. No, it's still a little tacky. All right, I'm gonna let that sit there for just a minute. So I can use both hands. Oops, hello. Don't need an owl. Corners are cute, but I don't maybe on the top. Do I have four? Two. Three. <laughs> ah, crap, I got three of oh wait a minute. Four. Four of those, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um I don't want it to get too gaudy. I mean, I hope it's used, so a couple little bits on there might be okay. Oh, look at these. Turquoisey kind of opaque stones. They might look nice on there somewhere. A little something something. They're too blue. Blue. Oh, maybe not the lighter ones. The other ones, I think, are too green. I need some that are just right. All right. Let's see. Oops. Okay. I'm rolling over here. Lordy. I'm going to have a little avalanche. There. I have 
got to get another bin with drawers in it so that I can separate some of my embellishments and blingy stuff from when I was doing my cigar boxes. Well, I still do those, but I had a little rush on them at one time. flowers. Nope, nope, nope. Can't see what I have. And I don't know what I have not. Alright, well, I don't, like I said, I don't want it to get too overdone. And I know I have those anchors coming in. Um, so I think I'll just roll with a couple decisions with these or these. That kind of looks like, I kind of like that brown with it, that champagne color. That's kind of pretty. Kind of looks like sand. Sand and sea. Oh, look, in three colors of the turquoise. Little flowers. That might be a nice little something, something. <laughs> oh, I meant to look and see if I have any of these in a yellow. I used to. I wonder if I use those. And something else. I'd like to have something to pull that yellow out a little bit more on the lid. Crap, no. Huh. gold, but that's too glittery. I didn't like that. Buttons. Don't need buttons on a recipe box. Alright. One of them says I have to finish it tonight. Alright. Did anybody say that? I didn't hear anybody say that. But I do want to try this. that will it just come off oh looky there it did that'd be cute I can do that Oop. these are Tim Holtz too ideology maybe that's what those feet are ideology instead of alterations I think that's right I think the dyes and the embossing probably because you alter things that might be the alterations. I think the legs are ideology. It's all kind of coming back to me now. All right. Get that out of my way. Oh, you know what? I wonder. I wonder, wonder. Definitely need another set of bins. That's too big. I was thinking maybe that white flower on there would kind of lighten that up a little bit. I bought these when I was doing my baby girl boxes. Had a rush on little girls. Everybody was having girls. I think I've only ever done one boy box. Okay. Too blue. I could use those lighter ones, I think. I think they would work out okay, but I don't know where and how. And the blue on blue, not so good. So champagne. Yeah, I think the champagne. We'll go with those. And I'd like to use these. These are really pretty. And I have different sizes. But I only have three each of the bigger ones and three of the medium ones. I only have four of the little ones. But I got those brown ones too. Kind of go with those browns, sort of, maybe kind of. Kind of grungy looking. That's what I'm thinking about them. Um, and then I have these little Darcy heater designs, little butterfly thingies. Um, I think these are self-adhesive, but I'll glue it down. Oh, here's some with blue and yellow in them. 
um, flat back pin. Oh, they're not self-adhesive. That's good. good. I can glue that then. Maybe I'll put that on the bottom. To go with the other butterflies. All right, that over here. You know, I'm not loving the lid, I gotta tell you. I don't know if you guys can see. So, well, this is awkward angle. Um, I don't know, it's not wowing me. But I'm going to put stuff on it. So maybe then I'll be wowed. Oh, maybe these little corner thingies. That'll help perk it up a little bit. I think. Yeah, I'll use those probably. They're self-adhesive, but this one, the self-adhesive came off. And I think I'm going to take it off of all of them and glue them. Because over time, it's not going to stay sticky too long. If you actually use it, which of course I hope she does. Get rid of that. Okay, I think I will put on this little bit here. screen again already. So I don't normally measure. I usually eyeball it because I figure it's handmade and if you have to measure it to find out whether it's straight or not. Oh look! Exactly three and a half. What an eye! I always figure if you got to measure it to see where it's three and a half, uh, it's pretty darn close. <laughs> I think I'm going to use crystal accents for this too. So whatever squidges out of there is going to be clear. A lot of holes on here, so I'm going to have it squidging everywhere. But it's okay. I think that's probably enough. All right, now watch, see if I can find the center again. <laughs> Get my big head in the screen here. That's just out of shits and giggles. Get my hair off that time. We'll just scoop it over there. All right. I'm just going to press on it again. Hold it for a sec. I'll probably put something on the holes for this where the brads were meant to go in. Um... just so it doesn't look like something's missing. That's straight. So once this baby goes on here, ain't no coming off. I think that's straight. Is that straight? I think it is. Here's a sanding block. I want to remember to sand those edges and ink them. I'll let that sit on there a minute. And I'm just going to go by all that sitting there and see if there's any bits of that paper that are not going to cooperate and need to come off of there. Oh, that's much smoother. What do you know? That was a good idea. Write this down on your calendars, people. Let's see. Oh yeah, that really that really smooths that out. 
before I could feel the, sh the sharp edge of the papers where they met. this on the top because it's not cured yet. I just have no patience to wait and let it dry like it should. I'd rather wrestle with it. I really like that embellishment on the front. I'm going to do that down these edges too. Oh yeah. Now this one I'm not going to do because that was folded. This one was folded or scored rather. I'm just going to do where it's the end of the paper. Look, Aunt Pappy's fingerprints. That'll be a keepsake. I'm gonna do rough this up a little bit. I got a little. Hey, I'm rubbing the dark end on there. Not good. I don't know if that was glue or what that little bit of something something is there. here off these hinges that's gesso and stuff back here or not oops <laughs> I wonder where that went okay so, um, maybe stick my little S in there next. I guess that was a little self-adhesive, but we are not going to trust that. Hopefully Chelsea will be able to use this for many moons to come. a little pop of black. That always does it. There's that. Now what? Oh, pff, hello. Maybe I should just glue these things down and get it over with. Let's see, do I want them? Yeah, why not? I got all four of them. <coughs> Pardon me. Four of them again. All right. Let's see what we got. That seems easy enough.
Ah, eh, crap, I got something on that one. I'm gonna get that off. Two more of these. Yeah, that looks pretty good on there. I like that. Another little something something. There's the S inside. Okay, I'll clean this and put my little plug top back in there. Oh, that doesn't have the. Huh, I wonder if they don't make them with that. They used to make it with the cap, had a little needle in it that went down in the stopper there, but I guess that's changed too. <laughs> Okay, so let me get some of this stuff out of my way that I know I don't need. See, if this was mine, I'd be putting gears and stuff on it. I love that steampunky look. stuck to my brush. I'm going to put those in here too. All my little metal bits are in here. And being the tiny little things they are, they're all, they always fall to the bottom. I can usually find them pretty easily. Okay. This little butterfly. What the heck is this? Well, maybe I should have unscrewed this before. Oh, oh. Huh. I don't know why that comes off of there. That seems. Oh, maybe that's how you change the blade. Oh, yes, you dumbass. Lordy, lordy. There we go. Oops, wrong way. I don't know what's down here. Oh, look, more blades. Oh, different kinds of blades. Who knew? I should really look at my tools more. Okay. Um, my little finger's freezing again. What's up with that? I wish this would have cracked like this did. See how much more yellow showing there? I just glue that down on the top, but that it really didn't crack that way. Oh well. I should just put more yellow stuff on here to bring that out. Do I want to bother with little flowers that are just gonna get greasy and funky and blue on blue? No. Flowers are out. These little stone thingies. Seems like I could do something with you. But what would that be? They're not the small ones aren't quite small enough to put as a dot over top of those. I don't think, are they? That'd be kind of cute if it didn't look too gaudy. Actually that might work. No, no. Oh, this one, plain one's kind of yellow. What is that? Like a... Oh, 
don't know what that design is. A little small for the old eyeballs. Yep, yeah, I'm liking the brown better. But how and where? How and where? That's what we need to know. Treasures. I'd like to have one of these that said recipes. Or I could put that on there. On the front and kind of use it like a knob to lift up. And then put the key and the anchor somewhere else. That's kind of cute. Oh, maybe you will be my knob. So let's see, on the bottom, I have the little butterflies going there. So what if I put a three-dimensional something something down there? I'll put that on the dark top. Maybe I'll put this down here. Oh, look, and they're self-stickies. I'm going to get rid of that, too. I notice I'm not talking a lot in this video. Hmm. It's either going to be very boring or a blessing, depending on which way you go. <laughs> ah! Ooh! Yay, it fell the right way. Now, I'm not squirting more on here. I'm just taking the tip and trying to get it out on the little antenna and on his little body and spread it with that like a little tool. Oh, maybe that's a good place to put one of those little things that are back in the metal box. <laughs> oh. Encourage your hopes, not your fears. That seems a little severe for a recipe box. <laughs> Live in the moment. None of these are really food related. I just like them. They're Tim Holtz stuff too. Live the life you imagine. Eh. Life is about creating yourself. Really, ha reality has limits. Imagination is boundless. The journey awakens the soul. A little deep. Embrace imperfection. Live in the moment. Okay. Life is about creating yourself. Or creating your dinner from the recipe box. Live the life you imagined. Reality, reality has limits. Imagination is boundless. Live in the moment. Live the life you imagined. I think that's a good message. We'll go with that. Encourage your hopes, not your fears. Make sure that's the only one you got of those. I'll stick one of those on there. That sounds like something her mom would tell her. And hope for her. So, that's what it'll be. That's it. Put your finger right in there. Wipe that off. Okay. Where am I going to put it? Up here? Down here? I should have thought about it before I put the butterfly on. Right there. You're going right there. Make sure you're straight. Oops. There we go.
All right. I'm going to leave the bottom alone other than some ink on the edges. But that's where that one is. Oh, that looks a little crooked when I hold it up there. <laughs> no, not so much there. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. But there's the bottom. Okay. I think I just might. I'm going to put a, paint, a coat of white in here. Um, I think I'm going to use this summer linen. That's another color we were using on her wedding stuff. It's like a barely, barely off-white. Barely, barely, barely. And let me see. Need a little brush. Hmm. <laughs> this one I guess. I took a break and had some dinner and the news on and uh Apparently, the polar vortex is going to be around a little longer. Great. Which, you know, when I have a hot flash, I'm kind of liking the polar vortex. And this, I'll be the first one bitching when it's 80 degrees out. I have a hot flash. It is what it is. Can't really change it. You might as well just roll with it. That or move somewhere where you don't have to... You know, and where you do like it. But I am moving nowhere. Whatever it is, it is. Right around here. Man, I really am quiet. That makes me nervous. <laughs> it's like I don't have anything to say. How can that be? Get on there. There we go. I don't want to put too thick of a coat because I want it to dry. Quickly. Make sure I'm not getting a white rim on the inside. Like that, for instance. I'm taking a fun class next week at the Queen's Inc. Um, it's called, what are they calling the class? Like Stencil Girl Frenzy, but F-R-I-E-N-D-Z-Y. Um, and there's four instructors, um, Mary Beth Shaw, Pam Carricker, Joanne Sharp. It's like naming the seven dwarfs. I can never remember all four. If I start them in a different order, I might remember. Joanne Sharp, Pam Carricker, Mary Beth, 
Oh, crap. Sorry, third person. Why can't I remember that? Um, anyway, they're going to all four be there and do a two-day class. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to cost me a couple days of leave because it's in the middle of the week. But that's why I work and that's why I have leave. So I can do the things I want to do. All right, let me pop this with a heat gun a little bit. Let's try it down here. Ooh, how's this gonna work? Hey, let's try the back. <laughs> if I screw up, it won't be all that apparent. Or will it? If I just go like this, maybe, and kind of dust it back and forth on that little edge, is that enough? That's not bad. Oh hell, that's on the front. What am I doing there? Ugh. Get this thing so twisted around with uh, holding it upside down and backwards. And Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that'll be okay. Let's see what I got on the front here. That's not bad. I like it. That's not so bad at all. There we go. So this is the one I didn't Cut, but I'm going to do that too so it kind of all looks edged like that. Ooh, this backside is going to be hard to do. Hey. Ooh, I like it though. I really, really like it. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm off frame again. I was holding it up against me to balance it. I like it. I wonder if I ought to try to do... See, here's why I should stop. A little darkness around the bottom of this. Kind of look like a shade, maybe? Shadow? That's kind of cool. That's not bad. Just a little bit. A little bitty bit. Let's try over here. I'm running out of things to hold on to. Paint myself into a corner. I like this color a lot. I got it recently and haven't really used it. When I hear the name Evergreen Bow, it makes me think of that dark, dark hunter type green. But it really is a turquoisey color, which we know I love. You know what I'm going to try to go around these too? Now that I'm kind of like on a roll.
Where did I miss? Okay, now to try to get. Arr, let me see. I must have a tool. I must have a tool that I can use. I do, but I got these damn things all painted up. <laughs> these little brush sticks thingies. Brush sticks. I love these things. So let's see if I can get any of this color on here with this red paint hardened on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's working. Yep. See that? No, wait a minute. Where are we? It's a working. enough alone on that one. Oh shit. Through. Oops. Add it. I wonder if I should go around those hinges with something. Maybe a little corner of this. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> There's a little gap there that I'd like to try to put some attention to. Alright, that's not bad. I likey! It's starting to shape up pretty nice. Stress. Get these out of the way. Now, okay. Now, where do we want to go? I think I am going to put this on here. I do, I do. I not only think it, I know it. <laughs> Get her polished up a little bit. Oh, Lordy. This is nice when this is clear on the back, which is also clear. All right. Can we get it in the center? Close enough. Close enough for handmade. I am not a machine, people. I'm using my own two paws on this puppy. Okay. Give that a little bit more pressure. For just a second. Well, definitely, I can tell you this. The uh, index cards, dividers, that's going to be on another tape. Because I don't know how long I'm on this thing already, but it's going to take me till Tuesday to edit and upload the darn thing. Okay. There's, oops, hello where we're landing so far. Not bad. Now that way like that again, let gravity help me on this while I think of what else I want to do. Um, maybe I'll put, uh, some of the anchors I got are, are little anchors. I might put some of that over here. Oh, you know what? Maybe the treasure gold. 
Let me go to the Treasure Gold Department. And there it is. White fire. And the blue is too blue. If you buy Treasure Gold, I'll give you a warning. They have a color. It's these little pots like this from Arts Paper Artsy in the UK. And Simon Says Stamps has some too. I love these. But there is a color called Sapphire that looks very much like um, a perfect turquoise. But Sapphire is actually Sapphire. Sapphire blue. So do not be put off uh, by that color swatch. And the other ones seem to be pretty right on from what I have. This is the White Fire. I really like that. It's kind of like a champagne, silvery, gold mix. It's got a strong odor, but it ain't killed me yet. So I ain't going to worry about it too much. But I think I might put just a little bit on the high spots of this. I don't know if you can see. Just that little bit on that one. See that? And then here's the one I didn't do. That and that one. Just a little tiny bit of a highlight brings out that pattern. And I just put a little tiny, tiny bit on my finger. 